Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship the King of Kings. Let God be praised forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. I want to thank God for your life. Beloved, before I release this word. Knowing that God has really saved you, you know. God has really saved you and you are saved. God has really chosen you and you are chosen. God is really standing by your side. Glory to Jesus. I want to thank God for your life specifically. For still holding on to cross. For still holding on to the cross of salvation. To the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. For still holding on. For still believing, for still pressing forward. I know sometimes it can be tough. Hallelujah. Because this person that are sometimes you ask yourself, I have prayed, I have fasted, you know, I have sown seed, I have helped the orphan, I have helped the widow, I have prayed for the homeless, I have done all the things that God said we should do as his children. But why is it that even those that are not doing all of that? They have been blessed. Child of God, you too shall be blessed, you know. We don't really know. Sometimes you see people being blessed. You don't know. You don't know what is behind their blessing. Some blessings are cause. I'm telling you. Maybe you might not understand how can blessings be cause, you know. There are some things humans see as blessing. But when you finally realize the source of those things that people see as blessing as beautiful you will see that it is a cause unto the bearer hallelujah glory to jesus you have you are still holding on there is somebody you are like you don't know how your future will even be and you are somebody who is giving you don't know how your future will even be you are like oh today the doors will be open oh tomorrow the doors will be open oh next tomorrow the doors will be open you just wait and wait and wait and it seems as if nothing is changing. Child of God, it will change. The Bible says, Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. That is why I said when I started this message that I thank God for you. I thank God for you because no matter how difficult it seems, you have the zeal to still hold on to the Lord. Hallelujah. That God will not fail you. That God will not fail you. I can't relate to this message. I know how you feel when you do more. You do much. You do much. But you just gain a little. And there are people who do little. You are seeing them gaining as if they are gaining more. No child of God. You too. You are being blessed. Because blessings defies. Blessings defies. And blessings bring different kind of things. There are some blessings that bring peace. There are some blessings that bring cause. But the blessings of God that he's giving to you, your possession will not bring cause. It will not bring, you know, it will not bring disgrace. It will not bring shame. Hallelujah. This is to tell you for you to keep holding on. If you were able to hold on last year, you were able to hold on two years ago. You were able to hold on three years ago. Why can't you hold on now? Why can't you hold on now? Because sometimes... When we are closer to our breakthrough, that is when the devil wants to strike. It is an old serpent, a, an old deceiver. When they know that you are closer, that is when they start remembering you. Oh, look at the fasting you have fasted. Ah, did you not sow seed? Did you not pay off free? Did you not pay your tithe? Did you not do this? Did you not pray for people? Are you not living a holy life? But look at those that are not living in a holy life. Child of God, no. The life of a sinner, no matter how beautiful it is, when you look at it, it is an ugly life. It is an ugly life. The life of a wicked man, no matter what he or she have, when you are looking at it physically, it is an ugly life because there is an emptiness that only God can feel in the life of everyone. So anyone who does not have God, 
automatically has a space in them that is empty. No matter what they have, it cannot fill that place. I heard of a young man who became so rich. And this young man went to his place. He went to his town. And everybody were, ah, this man, this young man has money. The money was so loud that the community was not, ah, this person just came back with a lot of money. And the person owned a lot of houses. He owned a lot of BB cars when he came. Suddenly, he, he started selling off the houses, started selling out the cars. At the end, he entered, end up, he ended up in a rented apartment. Even all those houses that he has when he came, he could not even sleep in one of them just for one night. There's another one I heard about that have a lot of property, but he cannot sleep in his house. What kind of riches is that? But when people see them on the street, they are like, ah, this person has money. They are like, ah, very beautiful. This person is blessed. I don't know why God is not blessing me. Look at this man. But they are paying sacrifice. A dangerous one. Child of God, I know. Sometimes we question God. Yes, everyone does that. There is a point in time. Let's be real with ourselves. We are humans. There are points in time in our life when we ask God, why me? Why me? Everyone has done that. But that God shall answer for you. That God shall give you your possession. I pray for you that that which you are asking from the Lord, it will not tire us anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.